Yo guys, what is going on? Savage here. Today we're going to be covering a very important topic and that is going to be how to get better at mouse and keyboard. If you guys haven't seen my first video, make sure you watch that video first. The link will be in the description below. Um, but this kind of dives into a follow-up on the AIM software that I prefer and that I use almost regularly and that is called AIM Labs. But first guys, I just want to say this is not a sponsored video. This is, they're not paying me to put this out. Um, it's just a program that I actually really enjoy. It's a program that was kind of frustrating for me to get used to at first. But as it got better, I actually ended up falling in love with it. And now I literally won't start a stream without practicing first. But guys, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description below. If you like the video, if this helps you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you leave a like on the video. And also comment in the section below if you guys want to follow up onto this one. Getting better at mouse and keyboard is not a simple 30-minute process. It's going to be a very, very, very in-depth series that we're going to be kind of doing. And I'm trying to get better myself. So as I'm improving and I find things that help me improve, I'm going to pass the message along to you guys. And hopefully you guys can kind of like grow with me. You know what I mean? All right. First and foremost, the reason why I'm making this video is because like I said in my previous video, I played on console for two years. I used to be a mouse and keyboard main. I was getting really good at it. I was pretty decent. But after playing on controller for a couple of years and I came back to the PC for, for Warzone, it kind of, it was, you know, the muscle memory was kind of there, but all the fundamentals and stuff were just blown out the window. So as I'm looking on YouTube and, and uh, Googling and trying to find different ways to improve it, there really wasn't a video out there to really help me most videos were sponsored videos so of course it was all bs um so i figured you know what let me just put out a video hopefully help people and not just try to blow my channel up but without further ado let's dive into this all right guys so the best thing about this software is the fact that it's free um it's kind of the thing that grabbed my attention for sure and i'm sure many other people as well um but not only is it free it's a really good software it, it's probably the best software i've used and i've used about three or four different ones and it's kind of the one that i always go back to and there's different things with this uh, software that really just sets it apart from the rest and we'll get into those things throughout this video all right guys so your first step is going to be setting up an account it's pretty simple just like setting up any other account um make sure you always click remember me so you don't have to keep typing in, in your information every time and of course to log in hit submit it's pretty simple steps i guess i didn't need to throw it in the video but just in case i'm going to now it's very overwhelming your first time looking at this software i know for me i was lost and the first and in fact the first day that i installed this software i was kind of close it out and didn't even practice because I was so overwhelmed. So I'm going to try to help you guys as much as possible with this video. Uh, and hopefully you guys won't run into the same issues that I ran into. Now, my absolute favorite thing about this program is the grading. Um, right here in the training data, you can kind of see, it'll say, hey, this is how much practice you've done every day. You kind of want to keep it between your medium and super high. You don't really want low practice. I think low practice is about 10 minutes worth of training. Um, blue is somewhere around 30 to 45 minutes and high um, is probably around an hour and a half, to two hours. So it just depends on how fast you want to progress with mouse and keyboard. I definitely recommend minimum. Try to get your days dark blue. Guys, if you're looking at me sideways saying, Savage, you've only practiced five days ever. This is a different account. I logged out of my other one, forgot the password. I got to do the reset on that, but time is of the essence. So here we are. All right, so these programs are very, very awesome. But guys, find the program you actually like and that you feel is helping you. Don't just you know, use a program because the game recommends it. I know that there's a couple programs on here that I've tried and that are actually really good programs, but they just doesn't help me. It doesn't, I don't feel like I'm learning or getting better from it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start with spider shot. It's probably the most common program to use within aim labs. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into spider shot. So with most programs, you're going to be able to change your map and select a weapon. Um, you can kind of get in depth with weapon selection. If you go in the settings and you add a game, you can pick modern warfare weapons. You can pick apex weapons, things like that. Um, it's got that ability. I will not be teaching you guys how to do that. You don't need that. Your main focus is get better at snapshotting, get better at tracking, get better at aiming, um, and going for headshots. It doesn't really matter what gun you use. So I just use the simple, the simple pistol it gives you. I just leave it alone always. Now your main goal with this software right here with spider shot is just take your time, hit the targets. Um, I tried recording this while I was talking to the camera. And as you can see, my aim and reaction time definitely was not the best. Um, but regardless, here we are doing the voiceover. You want to go slow and controlled. This event is timed to 60 seconds. However, your objective is to hit every target and not miss a bullet. So just go slow and just kind of speed up. The more you do it, the more you do it. You know, by your 10th time, you should be going faster than your first time. Just slowly progress. Don't rush. You don't try to just snapshot everything and have all your accuracy blown to hell. Just take your time. Be patient. And the most important thing, breathe. This is a training software. You're not putting it on a show. You're, there's no KD involved. There's no competition. Just relax and have fun. Actually learn something from this program. As you can see with the program, it always, after you shoot a target to the side, it centers back to the middle. It's, keep, it's trying to train you to always recenter your crosshair, always. And there's a reason for this. 
All right, guys, so there's my aim. This is my results, and this is the best part of the pro the program. You can really just kind of build from what you're doing. Let's just go ahead and throw my stats out as an example. Let me move my camera real quick, actually. Let's go ahead and just remove all this shit. All right, guys, so here's my results, and this is the best part. I love this. This is why I love this program right here. So it is, as it says, congratulations, Savage. Your score was 28727, better than your average. It's showing me that, hey, whatever I was practicing on before on this account, I'm doing better now than I was back then. It'll also tell you, hey, as far as your score is concerned, you got 44%, total kills 46%, targets hit 46%, reaction time 1%, ooh, gross. Um, kills per second 46%, accuracy 33%. If you scroll over right here, it'll say, hey, your accuracy was eight better than, so I'm still progressing. That's why I like this program. You can kind of see, okay, the more I'm practicing, the better I'm getting, which is awesome. And of course, the more you sit here and do the same pro the same test over and over and over again, you will get better. You, there's just no way you're going to get worse. Um, same thing with reaction time. It'll tell you it was 20, 89 better. So clearly I'm doing better than I was back when I was using this account, um, even though that was probably the most disgusting <laughs> aiming that I've ever done. Slow hand, low reaction time. It's something I was actually feeling just now as well. Um, on mouse and keyboard, you tend not to run out of mouse pad. And that's kind of like towards the end, I was slowing down because my hand was all the way at the bottom of the mouse pad. It's got to reset. It's always remember to reset your hand if you need to, even during these tests or gameplay. But it does recommend, hey, your action time this run was below average. Basically say you're shit savage. Uh, try playing more speed mode tasks. So that's, that's awesome. So it'll actually tell you what you need to work on. So let's escape. Let's go back to tasks. And let's click speed. Now, of course, you're going to see Spider Shot in a lot of these, mostly because Spider Shot is such a great program. It covers a lot of different aspects. Um, Micro Shot's actually a really good one as well. This will definitely help with your reaction time and speed. We're going to go ahead and jump into that real quick. The program loads extremely fast. All right, make sure your hands are set. Make sure your mouse is in the middle of the, the mouse pad and you're ready to go. Always when playing, make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Now these targets move extremely fast. Like I'm running out of mouse pads, so I'm just gonna reset real quick. All right, now that was not good either. That was definitely not the best, but we're gonna go off of it and pretend like it was. Let's say this is the best that I can do. Um, congratulations, Savage. Your score was 7,145 better than your average right here. Again, I haven't used this account in a while. I've definitely improved since I got this program, as you guys can see. Um, now, all you got to do is keep scrolling over. Let's say your accuracy is actually better. Um, your reaction time was 97 better. So it's up 24%, which is great improvement, especially I think the last time I played on this account was a month ago. So let's just say I've increased my reaction speed 24% in the last 30 days. And then you keep going over total kills and stuff don't really matter um targets hit don't really matter either you want to just focus on your main stats reaction time things like that accuracy uh when you miss you tend to undershoot this means that you are falling short of the target you can try raising your sensitivity or play perfect shot now these recommendations are usually pretty on point um i've actually listened to them adjusted my dpi adjusted my sensitivity in the games and it does help i noticed that when i first started playing with this program my dpi was set at sixteen thousand, and my sensitivity for Warzone was set at i believe four um i lowered my dpi to 800 and up my sensitivity to 12 um just kind of play with it and it has drastically improved and i'm probably gonna mess with my sensitivity again all right guys so let's go ahead and cover some of these uh some of these tasks that we can do just to kind of run through them real quick and and tell you guys what i recommend what i don't recommend of course spider shot is definitely going to be my top of course, I love it. I think it's just the most effective one, especially if you're just starting. Micro shots, a little bit more advanced. This right here will definitely, definitely improve your reaction time uh, tenfold within the first week, I would say. A reflex shot, another good one. Um, it's just kind of like a slower spider shot, but it, it, it's decent, it's decent. Motion shot, you don't always wanna shoot stationary targets. Definitely practice with that first, and as you progress, and as you're like, okay, I got this, move to moving target, very important. Uh, for multiple reasons uh, when it comes to moving targets it's not only shooting them and flick shotting them and pr practicing your precision you're also tracking the target tracking the target is very important especially if you're shooting some kind of ar or sniper rifle and leading a target at range multi shots another good one too uh the, the spheres come into your screen and they go away you want to blow them up before they go away grid shot mm, 
it, it's all right too it's basically the, the same thing as micro shot except they don't get bigger or smaller just shoot them as fast as you can i do tend to practice this one pretty often uh, micro flex i will be honest i don't think i've ever practiced with this software it just seems like a different version of spider shot sniper shot i do not recommend to use only because if you're a sniper you don't want to stay ads in the scope at all ever no matter what game you're playing uh, not to mention spider shot will definitely cover your accuracy and you really won't need this program at all uh six shot very 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 hard and difficult task i definitely recommend um my biggest issue is shooting targets that are far away with an ar or a pistol of course if, they have, if i have a sniper rifle it's it's no contest but spotting a target super small super far away is probably one of the hardest things as a pc gamer you have no aim assist so you can't really lock on to you have to use your entire body to just snapshot onto these targets so i definitely recommend six shot and spider shot 180 it's basically your spider shot but you turn it around um not really necessary in my opinion but you can go with that i mean turning around is pretty pretty easy thing to do when it comes to tracking targets i think this is kind of where you're going to excel as a pc gamer is tracking targets again there's no aim assist on mouse and keyboard and this isn't mouse and keyboard versus console video but we don't have the luxury of having aim assist to where it'll snap our our gun onto a target you have to learn to track the targets and this is a very difficult one very infuriating one but again guys no competition no one to see calm down relax breathe have fun with it learn um definitely definitely recommend most of the tracking softwares um strafe shots another one it's like a slower paced motion tracker definitely recommend it um this one as well you track the target while you shoot it very difficult because as you're moving your mouse side to side that's pretty easy but you start clicking it starts putting your mouse out of balance definitely practice shooting while tracking as well again guys the point of this software is to get better faster imagine how much training you're going to get in the first you know 60 seconds compared to six hours of playing warzone you're going to shoot that gun and that target more times in one minute than you will an entire night of warzone or any other game that you're playing on mouse and keyboard uh, strafe bot as well this is kind of a newer one i haven't played this one yet but it looks pretty dope um you want to practice with moving targets that's kind of the thing i definitely recommend if you're starting out practice with flicking get better with your shooting then kind of upgrade to tracking um, as far as speed's concerned, same thing. Um, you'll, you'll see a lot of these that we've already looked over, spider shot, micro shot, um, and, and whatnot. Now, circle shot's pretty cool because the object circles around you, so it's moving around you. It'll, it'll help you a lot, especially uh, mouse and keyboard players and even console players. They sidestep so that you can't hit them. You want to be able to practice predicting where the target's going to be. You want to practice shooting while moving. It's a very, very important, very, very important uh, task. But I mean, that kind of basically sums up all the different tasks. I mean, they're basically the ones we haven't covered are just, you know, different versions of what we already have covered. Um, you can kind of jump into different into different things. And again, if you really want to get in depth and start picking the weapons for your game, you can do that. I'm not going to cover that in the settings, mostly because I don't know how to do that. I haven't tried. Um, the basic fundamentals is, is already here. Just use the basic weapon, practice your aim, practice your snapshot, and just get better, guys. This is a free tool that people overlook. People don't really want to practice on getting better. They just want to get better. You can't just get better. You have to practice. When you see these streamers streaming 12 hours a day, you're like, damn, they're really good. It's because they're playing 12 hours a day. You play 12 hours a day, you'll definitely get better at the game. But you throw it on a couple hours of this a day or even a couple hours a week, your your skill will, will drastically improve. Drastically improve. But guys, if you want me to do another follow-up video on this, I know there's a lot of different shit that we can kind of dive into with this video. That's just kind of the basics that I've messed with. Um, if you guys want me to do another video, if you have any questions on this at all, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Or again, follow me on Twitch and just come in and chat. And be like, hey, Savage, what do you recommend for this? Uh, the link to my Twitch channel will be in the description as well. I really hope this video helps you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I put a lot of effort into this. Again, I want to make videos for you guys that I was looking for on Google and couldn't find. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want some more videos like this. Leave a like on the video if this helps you in any way, shape, or form. And hopefully, guys, catch you in the next one. Yo guys, what's going on? I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you follow us on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you guys want some more content, man, check out one of these videos. I'm sure they're dope as fuck. Not sure what they are. YouTube. YouTube, what's that one? And what is that one? I don't know. Click it and find out. But guys, follow us on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next video, boys. Peace.